Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. This is one that many of you have been asking for and waiting for. Well, I had to wait as well because Dearly Beloved usually gets me this Johnny Walker Blue Label Ghost and Rare bottle for Christmas. So I had to wait for it, right? And there she is, the, uh, the new Johnny Walker Blue Label Ghost and Rare. And this one is created around Portundas. Port Dundas? So first we had a Brora, then we had a Port Ellen, then there was a Glenuri Royal, a Pity Vague, let's not forget the Legendary 8, but that's another series. And now Port Dundas? I'll be honest, when I first saw this, I was a bit skeptical. I mean, creating a, 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 a Johnny Walker Blue Label goes to wear around a grain whiskey? Seriously? But then I tried it at a whiskey festival and immediately I knew, oh, it's not it's another beautiful work of art indeed, so I am happy to uh, be enjoying this new Ghost and Rare. Um, but a special bottle deserves a special glass, and today I'm going to do that with another Christmas gift. This was a Christmas gift from my good friend Martin voor de Porte. Uh, he's a Dutchie, and he, uh, he actually owns and runs the uh, Slijtere Poste whiskey shop in, uh, in the Netherlands in Kampen in the Netherlands. It's all the way up the north. Anyway, uh, Martin, a shout out to you for uh, providing me with this beautiful glass from uh, Whiskey Essentials. Mm, this one is, uh, that's the one that we will be using for this uh, special, special blend indeed. The, uh, the Whiskey Essentials VESL glass, it is called, whatever that means. Look at that. it's a piece of art, it's a piece of art. But apparently this will channel the aromas in a perfect way. So that is what we need to try this new Johnny Walker Blue Label Ghost and Rare. And I have to hurry myself because I can see that the sun is actually already about to set. It is December after all. Well, anyway, uh, a closed distillery as the lead. Hmm, well, anyway, let's find out Wait, what we have Port Dundas. But there's also Cameron Bridge in there, uh, Cambus, another close distillery by the way. And then it's filled up with uh, uh, some single malts, some rare and ghost single malts, uh, amongst others Glen Kinchy from the Lowlands, and then Thrusk, Dale Ewan, Kleinleash, and Brora. Now Brora is reopened, I know, I know, I was there in September. But of course, whatever Brora is in here is of course from that closed distillery Brora, because they are producing since almost two years now, but obviously the new Brora single malt is not yet mature. So the Brora in here is obviously from the close distillery. It is bottled as every single of those uh, Ghost and Rares at 43.8% ABV. The blue label Ghost and Rare Port Dundas. On the nose. Oh. <laughs> Surprisingly fresh notes of vanilla and coconut. That immediately betrays the Port Dundas fingerprint, to be honest. But it is complemented by a particularly soft spiciness from the wood, a pinch of cinnamon, and then quite a few fruity notes of apricots appear, peach, mirabelles, those little yellow plums. There's a floral touch in there as well, but it's very fresh and very creamy indeed. Mmm, on the palate. Mmm, mm. silky smooth on the palate, silky smooth. It's nice and round and rich. It's waxy. Thank you, Klein Leash. Thank you, Dale Ewan. Uh, um, uh, spicier than the, 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 the nose promised though. I get a bit of a, a, bit of a, a spicy kick, but the fruitiness again is absolutely excellent. The stone fruit of the nose is further supplemented with some, some red berries in there some unripe pineapple, and the whole thing is nicely wrapped in this soft smokiness that seems to become more intense for a moment, but then suddenly uh, retreats to the background discreetly, leaving all the fruit to shine, especially the coconut as well, which goes to show that a well-aged grain whiskey does in fact contribute much body and much flavor to a uh, well-composed blend on the finish.
That is an excellent finish. Excellent finish. It's nice and long. It's spicy, warm, intensely fruity again. And then the beautiful smoky touch that slowly fades away. Well, this is the, uh, the first creation by Emma Walker. What's in the name? Emma Walker, who stepped in the, uh, the, the, the footsteps of Jim Beveridge, the, uh, the master blender of Jenny Walker, that retired and uh, uh, passed on the baton to Emma Walker. Well, kudos, Emma. This is a, a piece of art. And never judge a book by its cover. So don't be fooled by the fact that it says Port Dundas, because it is, again, a very worthy blend and an excellent addition to this Johnny Walker Blue Label Ghost and Rare series. And it's about 300 euros. Well, if you get it for Christmas, that doesn't hurt too much. But if you don't get it for Christmas, save up for it, because it is worth every single penny. And especially when the aromas are so concentrated uh, when tasting it in this, this beautiful uh, whiskey essentials glass. And that, my friends, is all for this whiskey rambling. And I wish you, well, Christmas still is already behind us, but soon, very soon, it will be New Year. I hope that the best of 2022 will be the worst of 2023. And that's all for this whiskey rambling. Happy New Year to you all. See you at the other side of 2023. And uh, may the malt be with you.